In this quick video, we're going to check out the Convoy C8 Plus with the SST20 in there. This thing puts out 2400 lumens as I've tested in the David Sunshine Reader and its throwing ability is insane because the SST40 is actually pretty small and by being a nice small surface area, this reflector can chuck all the light out there and makes it a very powerful thrower. I'm going to focus the camera, lock the exposure and show you what this thing can do. So it goes to 100% right away as soon as you turn it on and you can see it is a nutcase of a thrower. Look at that. Do you see how it's lighting up the particles in the air? <laughs> it's lighting it up look, all the way down. You can see it pretty far. And that just goes to show how much intensity it's putting out there. And you can probably see, I don't know, 700 meters down there. It's rated for 300 to 500 meters. It's definitely throwing over 500 meters. So if you want a hunting light and you don't want to modify anything, get this light. And it has a dome, so you can even chop off that dome if you're so inclined and have an even more insane thrower. This thing is nuts. Look at it. You can use it like a searchlight for this huge farm. Now I'll talk about its modes a bit. It basically just is a 100% defaulted light mode. So it's always defaulting to 100%, no memory mode. But you can double click it to a second mode where you can set. So I've set it to about 70%. And if you click five times, one, two, three, four, five, it'll start ramping. And wherever you want it, you turn it off, that'll be your second mode. So let's set it to Moonlight. So right now it's Moonlight, turn it off. Now when you turn it on, you just double click to get to that recorded mode. So there, Moonlight mode. And even at Moonlight mode, you can still use it as a searchlight. Well, kind of, maybe out to here. You can still search out to here. And that's not much light, look at this. It's just focusing a lot of that light out there. So let's turn it off go back to 100% because I'm sure you want to see this. This is bonkers. Like, don't sh shoot that up at the sky. You'll think you're causing some trouble. So you think that's not that bright? 2400 lumens? Let's compare it to the 3800 lumen Convoy L6. Now, the L6 is obviously more powerful. It lights up that scene very well. Let's take a look. This one lights it up very well as well. So the C8 is a nutty flashlight for being this small. Look at that. It's very comparable to an L6. And if you want to see how well of a beam it is, look at that. The C8's on the left, and you can see it's much more intense. The L6 is actually getting its butt kicked by this little tiny C8 Plus with the SST40. The SST40 with 2400 lumens focused straight down the middle is nuts. This LED is much bigger, the 70 uh, XHP70. It's a much larger LED so it can't focus the light as well. This one is focusing the light right down this little nutty beam. So it's a lot more intense. So it was a little bit further out there. And you can see So actually, if I was going to go come out here to search the field, I'd probably pick up the C8 Plus rather than the L6. You can see just a tiny bit further. It's a little bit higher color temperature, so it actually is lighting things up a little better. So I just want to do a quick review on the Convoy C8 Plus SSD40. Check uh, the description for some links and a coupon code. You can get this for $19.99 using that coupon code. It's a good flashlight for less than 20 bucks. Put a good uh, Sony VTC 5 or 6 in there and you'll get the full amperage that it needs to create this beam. You would not pick this up to go searching down this field. You want this one. Both 18650 lights, not 
much bigger. It's the only thing that's bigger about it is the head. So if you're looking for a hunting light or something to put on a scope, just with the scope rings, the C8 will definitely do it. You can do use this one as well, but you're not going to see very far. That'll just be for close range. Like you would never use this on to throw down any distance. This is only good for like backyard, like maybe up to there. You want to see further? <laughs> C8 plus. So without modifying it, I'd be happy with it. But if you de-dome it, I think it has a lot of potential. So without having to play around with too much, the C8 Plus is a pretty impressive light. I don't know if it has turbo timer or temperature regulation. I'll do a more detailed review on that. It did seem to kick down, but that could be just a turbo timer instead of active temperature regulation. So stay tuned. We'll check this one out in depth, take it apart, play around with it, see how it does. Thanks for watching and hope that helps.